Thomas and Percy are good friends, but sometimes Percy teases Thomas about being frightened, and he doesn't like that at all. One evening, he was dozing happily in the shed, but Percy wanted to talk. Wake up, Thomas! Are you dreaming about the time you thought I was a ghost? Certainly not! Anyway, I was only pretending to be scared. I knew it was you, really. Percy went on teasing him. I hope the guard leaves the light on for you tonight. Why? asked Thomas. I quite like the dark. Oh, really? explained Percy. I am surprised. I always thought you were afraid of the dark. I wonder why. Thomas decided to say nothing and went to sleep instead. Next day, the fat controller came to see him. I would like for you to go to the harbor tonight. You have to collect something rather unusual. What sort of something? asked Thomas. Wait and see. Meanwhile, Percy was moving some trucks into a siding. Henry arrived with his goods train. The signalman changed the switches and Percy waited on the siding while Henry had steamed by. Then there was trouble. The switches are jammed, called the signalman. I can't switch them back for Percy. The workmen will have to mend them in the morning. It's too late now. Mmm, said Percy's driver. I'm sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. Where are you going? asked Percy. Home for tea, replied the fireman. Percy was speechless. He watched as the other engines went home to the shed. Night time came, and Percy began to feel very lonely. Oh, dear, he murmured. It's very dark. Oh! Oh! What's that? It was only an owl, but Percy didn't realize this. Oh! I wish Thomas were here too! He sighed. Thomas was waiting for his mysterious load at the harbor. Suddenly, there it was! Cinders and ashes! cried Thomas. It's a dragon! Don't worry! laughed his driver. This dragon's made of paper. It's for the carnival tomorrow. Workmen lifted the dragon on Thomas's low loader and put lights all around it for protection. Then Thomas set off into the misty night. Percy was asleep on his siding and had no idea that Thomas was approaching him. cried. I'm not gonna open my eyes till driver comes! Next morning the switches were mended and Percy puffed back to the junction. Gordon was just about to leave with the express. You'll never guess what I saw last night. Gordon was in no mood for puzzles. I'm a busy engine and I don't have time for your games. I've seen a huge dragon. It was covered in lights. Gordon snorted. You've been in the sun too long. Your dome is cracked. When the other engines heard the news, they laughed too. Look out, Percy, chuckled James, or the dragon may gobble you up. <laughs> no one believes me, huffed Percy. Maybe I did imagine the dragon after all. But soon Percy found out that he hadn't. Help! Save me! It's all right! Whistled Thomas, and he explained about the carnival. By the way, how was your night out? Percy decided to tell Thomas the truth. Well, Percy, maybe we do get scared sometimes, but if we're not afraid to tell each other, that means we're quite brave, too.